Okay, in the circuit below, calculate the reading on the voltmeter. Internal resistance is negligible. So I'm interested in the potential difference between point A here and point B. Okay, because a voltmeter is going to have very high resistance, is there should be no current flowing between A and B, and the voltmeter should not be affecting the circuit. So I'm rubbing it out there so it doesn't distract me. Okay, so what we have here is two resistors that are in series, and that combination is in parallel with another two resistors which are in series. And between this point and this point, the potential difference is 8 volts, and between this point and this point, the potential difference is 8 volts because they're connected directly across the battery. Okay, so I'm going to take the 8 volts and divide it by 60 ohms because that's the resistance of this branch and then multiply that by 45 to get the potential difference across the 45 ohm resistor. That gives me 6 volts. So 6 volts is going to get used across this and that means 2 volts is going to get used across this. Now because these two are equal, 20 ohms and 20 ohms, we know that the resistance between them is going to be shared equally. So 4 volts and 4 volts. So what I've just written there is what we call the potential difference because that's how much energy is used per unit charge across those components. Now what I'm going to do is to help me figure out the potential difference between A and B, I'm going to write the potential, which is like the energy the charge leave with. So here it's 8, uh, eight volts, it's leaving with 8 volts. And all the way across these lines is all 8 volts because they haven't used any energy. So here it's 8 volts and here it's 8 volts. And then because it uses 6 across this, it will have... 2 volts remaining when it goes across this and then when it goes across it will use the remaining 2 and it will come around with 0 volts okay and when, when this one here goes across uh, the 20 ohm resistor it will use up 4 volts so it'll have 4 volts remaining okay and then it will use the remaining 4 across the second 20 ohm resistor and it'll come around with 0 volts here so the potential difference between A uh, and B is going to be just 4 volts minus 2 volts. Okay, let's not worry about the direction. So it's just at, the, at, the, at this point in time, the potential difference is just 2 volts between those two points. Okay, same question here, except the 15 ohm resistor is replaced with a resistor with double the resistance. Without calculation, it's just the possible change that can be made to the circuit to maintain the potential difference of 2 volts across the voltmeter. So between these two points, we want to maintain 2 volts, except the resistance of this is going up. Okay, the reasons that that goes up, we know the voltage across it will go up. Okay, it's going to get a bigger fraction than 8 volts, and the voltage across this will have to go down. It's going to receive a smaller fraction. So the number here is going to change. So what change can we make so that the difference between A and B is still 2 volts? Okay, one of the possible changes we can make is increase the resistance of this variable resistor so that the voltage across this also goes up. Okay, so the voltage of this will go down. Now, hopefully, that change uh, we have to pip, we have to have the calculation, but we can make the change such that the drop is still two volts between these two points. Okay, another possible change we can make is increase the resistance of this. Okay, so we'd actually have to double the resistance of that as well. If we double the resistance of that as well, we can re go back to the ratio of three to one. Okay, between these two resistors. So that means the potential difference at this point won't change. Okay, another possible change we could do is lower the resistance of this. Okay, if we lower the resistance of this, of course, we, we know that this value is going to go up. Okay, so if we lower the resistance of this, this value will go up as well. And that way, we can maintain a potential difference of 2 volts.